I've told you so many stories, but have you ever wondered where these stories actually come from? Well, the story I'm going to tell you today is a story about a story, and how that story came to be. <laughs> it's all quite simple, really. You see, stories can come from the tiniest little things. All right, ladies, bedtime. Come on, they come on. Yeah, yeah. Last one back in the coop's a rotten egg. <laughs> rotten egg, get it? <laughs> he thinks he's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> there goes another one. Funny how that works. Oh! With each feather I pluck, I get more beautiful. What was that she said? Hmm. Someone up above plucks out her feathers so she can be beautiful? Oh, that's just of all the things. Has she no shame? Lucy, wake up! <laughs> it's not Easter again, is it? I can't! Oh! Deary me, Gertie, what? What on earth is it? I've got the most appalling thing to tell you. Oh! What is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me! Well, I'm not going to mention any names. You can probably guess anyway. <laughs> Ready for your good night story? All cuddled in and Shh. Hmm? Shh. But one of the hens here intends to pluck out all her feathers just so she can look better for, you know, him, the rooster. Ew. Well, I tell you, if I were him, you know, him, the rooster, I would find this the height of outrage. I, I would just find it so scandalous. What just is it, dear? Oh, I What's going on? Did you hear what the chickens just said? I heard it with my own ears. And if these hadn't served me so well this far, I'd surely doubt them. Well, what is it that's so amazing? Apparently one of the chickens has gone berserk. Berserk? That's right, berserk. How so? She has so completely forgotten what it is to be a hen that she's plucked out all her feathers so that the rooster can see her in, in, all her goose pimples. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good heavens, Martha. Not in front of the little ones. They shouldn't hear such things. Of course, of course, I'm sorry. But this is terribly exciting news. I have to tell someone. I'll be back. <laughs> That is such an, uh, an amazing story. I know. It's simply unbelievable. Ah. Ah. <gasps> wait, wait. We're not going to eat you. Have you heard? Have you heard? There's this raving mad hen who lost her head and has plucked out all her feathers. Just so she can show off her pimply body for the rooster. And now she's bound to freeze to death. If she is not frozen already. A ready frozen chicken? Where? Where? Right there in the next farm. I have as good as seen it myself. It is almost unbecoming to tell the story. But we feel obligated to pass it on. If only as a warning to others. Indeed, indeed. Hey, chickens. You have to hear this. There's a chicken. Actually, I heard there were two who plucked out all their feathers just so they could attract the rooster. Yes, so what? Well, it's very dangerous if you think about it because you can easily catch a cold and 
die from fever. Oh, yes. Yes, and that's why, as it happens, both of them are close to dying. All because of that stupid rooster. Well, that does sound like a bit of news. <laughs> and all because the rooster told them to pluck out all their feathers. It's tragic, I'll tell you. It's a scandal. Well, that's unbelievable. Something must be done at once. Cock a doodle doo! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> the most incredible thing has just happened.